One of the most popular control types within ControlNet is OpenPose, a model which lets you turn a reference image into a control map, which can then be used to influence the pose of characters within your image, including the fingers and face. This video will be exploring what each preprocessor does and some tips for getting the most out of this feature. Be sure to check out the installation and overview video for ControlNet with links in the description, but let me give it to you bite-sized. So the first thing you will want to do is install ControlNet and I've linked a tutorial on the basics to help keep topics separate. Once you've installed ControlNet, you will want to ensure you have the open pose models installed. This can be done by navigating to that Hugging Face repository that I've linked in the description as well and dragging the models.pth files into the extensions model folder. You will also need two additional files for the animal pose and dense models, which I'll link in the description. And note that the dense model file goes into the stable diffusion models control net folder rather than control nets model folder as shown on screen. Control net will download any missing preprocessors, so don't worry if things take a long time to run when processing an image for the first time and any downloads being processed can be seen within the console window, which is that black window that appears when you boot up the web UI. So the first preprocessor we'll look at is OpenPose, which is a standard preprocessor used for capturing the base skeleton of a subject of an image without the face or fingers. If I generate a control map, you will see the resulting output from this reference image, and this is good for capturing the overall pose of a subject while leaving elements like the hand and face for interpretation. If I generate an image, it should copy the pose while interpreting a facial expression and with a basic prompt, our image does have some artifacts, but overall, it's getting the posture correct. OpenPose 4 is used for capturing the base skeleton alongside the structure of the hands and facial features. In this control map, we now have these white dots representing the face with eyes, nose and mouth, while the finger joints are represented by these blue dots. This preprocessor is good for capturing everything including the facial expression and hands to help improve the accuracy of a generated image to the reference image's likeness. And if I generate an image, then it copies everything including the finger placement and face. DW OpenPose is another pose detection model which is far more accurate than OpenPose 4, capable of capturing more details of an image with greater consistency and better recognition. If I generate the control map, something you may notice is that we have a much more accurate image with better hand placements than before when using other models. If I generate an image, we should get a far better result than when we were just using the OpenPose model due to the additional details we're capturing with this model. OpenPose Face is a model used for capturing only the skeleton and face without the hands and this may be useful if you're getting bad quality fingers and you want to manage those separately. The control map reflects this by giving us the overall body and face in a way that captures the reference photo accurately. Generating an image gives us the results we expected as we're copying both the pose and face for our generated image, with stable diffusion interpreting what the hand could look like. Open pose face only is used to generate a control map of only the face of the reference image and nothing else. This is a super handy feature to have because you may only want to capture a head placement for your image. The control map captures this and we can see the head floating around in the same position as the reference image, although you may want to increase the preprocessor's resolution to get a better definition of those individual points. If I generate an image, we can see that the head is in the place we specified, but other details like the body are left for interpretation, which can lead to some interesting results. OpenPose hand is used for capturing the body and hands of a subject without the face, and is useful for leaving the face to interpretation while trying to get the anatomy accurate to the reference image. If I generate a control map, we won't get the same accuracy as the DW model, but we will only generate the portions of the image we need, which may be useful for adjusting the skeleton as we have less elements to worry about. And if I generate an image, you can see we have a good amount of accuracy to our reference photo, with the face being interpreted, but the hands being in the correct place, despite some artifacts. Animal Open Pose is a new model which can be used to capture the pose of animals exclusively, which wasn't possible before by using any other models, which were geared towards human subjects. If I generate a control map using this image of a cow as a reference, you can see how the overall pose is captured nicely. If I generate an image, you can see we get a pretty accurate placement to the cow, replicating that pose in our reference photo. And this can work for a number of animals, but results when generating images may vary greatly, such as with this chicken, which turned into an absolute abomination. It seemed to struggle on more complex subjects like an octopus, 
However, it couldn't distinguish the individual arms, and instead, it gave me a bunch of lines and triangles. But the outputs weren't too bad, so worth experimenting to see what works for your workflow. While preparing this video, I noticed that another preprocessor received support called Dense Pose. This is a pose estimation model, which provides a representation of the surface of a subject similar to other models like depth, normal, and pose. If I generate a few images, you may notice that it tries to replicate the pose of the control map as much as it can. The benefits of using the dense model is that you get information about the 3D surface of a subject instead of just the 2D body joints, while benefiting from using a pose model rather than something like depth or normal. Now that we've explored what each preprocessor does, it's worth looking at an extension you can use to modify the control maps we generate so we can fix issues as these automatically generated maps aren't always perfect and perhaps won't accurately represent the type of image you want to generate. My favorite extension when using the reference photo is SD Web UI Open Pose Editor, which allows you to modify the entire skeleton from a control map, including adding additional joints, multiple skeletons, and uploading a reference image, which you can use to line up your skeleton perfectly. Now a use case for pose could be to correct anatomy issues within images, such as hands, where fingers are missing, to try and get a better result. You can do this both in text to image and image to image, but I'll be demonstrating this in text to image. This can be done by first generating an image that you like, but if you're not a fan of the way the hands turned out, then take the image into control net and generate a control map using one of the pose options. From there, let's open up our pose editor and it's really just a case of adding in finger bones for the control map and making adjustments as we go along. So when we go to generate our image, we can use control net to drive that anatomical change. It may take a bit of tweaking to get right, but once you get the fingers into a good place, you can regenerate your image with control net activated and it should vastly improve the results. This will also work in image to image using control net to drive the change and in painting to master hands for modification. But hopefully this video has been a useful reference for using open pose in control net. And if it has, like the video so others can find this resource, subscribe, and a big thanks to the supporters of the channel. This is Bite Size Genius, and I hope you enjoyed.